इफी वी आर टोल्ड ऑल्सो हैज इशूड अ स्टेटमेंट सेइंग दैट द जूरी चीफ्स कमेंट आर हिज पर्सनल ओपिनियन सो दैट इज हाउ एज फार एज द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स आर कंसर्नड एज वी वर ट्राइंग टू गेट अ रिएक्शन फ्रॉम दिस साइड ऑन द कमेंट्स दैट हैव बीन मेड बाय दिस इजराइली फिल्म मेकर नाउ दे हैव बीन क्विकली टेकिंग अ स्टैंड सेइंग दैट द कमेंट्स दैट हैव बीन मेड बाय नाटाव लपिड एट द क्लोजिंग सेरेमनी व्हाइल ही वाज मेकिंग दोस कमेंट्स हाउएवर ही हैड सिंगल्ड आउट द मूवी कश्मीर फाइल्स एंड कॉल्ड इट वल्गर एंड प्रोपेगेंडा इफ ही हैज नाउ मेंटेन डिस्टेंस सेइंग दैट दिस इज द कमेंट्स पर्सनल ओपिनियन एंड द पर्सनल comments of the jury chief so in a way they are uh, maintaining distance uh, from what is being said by nadav lipid so far as far as the uh, the comments that he made on the movie kashmir files is concerned uh, because in its speech he had been saying that all of us were disturbed and shocked by the 15th film the kashmir files that felt like propaganda vulgar movie inappropriate for artistic competitive section of such a prestigious film festival i feel totally comfortable to openly share those feelings and with you on the stage in the spirit of the festival can surely also accept a critical discussion which is essential for art and life so those were the comments that were actually made by the israeli filmmaker who was also the jury head however we are looking at strong comments that came in uh, not just from the filmmakers but also when it comes to kashmiri pandits who have been quite vocal uh, with their criticism on the comments that were made by the israeli filmmaker and from kher as far uh, the actor who also played a key role in the movie is concerned he also shared a still from the movie kashmir files along with steven spielberg's uh, schindler's list in his reaction to the ifi jury head uh, nadav lapid's uh, remarks for his film at the film festival's closing ceremony as well because he had been saying that this is nothing but lies on the part as far as the israeli filmmaker has been uh sharing but uh, pradeep we were just uh, questioning as far as what has the organizers have to say because till now they were refraining to comment now they have maintained distance amita there are two things this man is saying that this was a prestigious film festival and you should not have gone for the propaganda that's a big question the question is that this was a prestigious festival how come a person with a motivated mindset was made the jury member? because jury member has to be very neutral and he had been an habitual offender that has already been mentioned in the string of tweet by their ambassador only what you had been doing in israel and you have done the same thing here where you are trying to sprinkle salt you have to try to shame community and you have also the shame your country also because you were extended a kind of a hospitality and now talking about the statement that has been given by the organizers i think they can't shrug off their shoulders by saying that this was a personal comment it is no more personal because he was saying this thing something on the stage of the uh, prestigious film festival where he tried to hit out at the india try to hit out at the particular community calling it a propaganda because india is fighting a war against terror india is fighting a war against islamist terrorism and india has suffered a lot because of this islamist terrorism for the last several decades so you can't simply come out Pratibha, and call this we a... have the statement on part of if he is concerned pratibha can share with us those details that are coming in the official statement yes That's pratibha right. uh, a very detailed statement that has been issued let me just read it out quickly before we get in more reactions whatever has been said by if he 20 2022 jury chairman mr nadav lapid about the film kashmir files from the stage of the closing ceremony of the 53rd if he was completely his personal opinion in the official presentation of the jury board to the festival director and in the official press conference where we four juries uh, the fifth jury had to leave for her personal emergency were present and interacted with the press we never mentioned anything about our likes or dislikes both were our uh, official collective opinion as juror we were assigned to judge the technical aesthetic quality and socio cultural relevance of a film we don't don't indulge in any kind of political comments extremely crucial here saying we don't indulge in any kind of political comments on any film and if it is done it is completely in personal capacity nothing to do with the esteemed jury board so saying that this is made in his personal capacity this is not the view of the jury that is involved uh, in this event absolutely so looking at those comments that are also coming in so pradeep it is just building up if he also giving out a strong statement the israeli envoy also giving out a strong statement as far as the jury head is concerned in fact even if we look in and listen into what uh, nadav lapid had said he said that all of us as a jury felt ashamed all of us as a jury felt that the movie was a vulgar propaganda that was being shared does it mean this is the similar sentiments being shared also by the other jury members because he was heading that jury while he made the comments during the closing ceremony so i think this is a question to be asked to the other jury members also that he was how he was saying that this was 
uh, uh, the similar kind of a sentiment and feeling of each and every jury member. And that's that's why I'm asking this question to the organizers also. When you say this is a personal comment, this can't be a personal comment because he's involving each and every uh, jury member because he was the one who was heading a jury. Because jury member has to be neutral. They have to look at the things with a neutral eye. And they can't be motivated. And this man had been a habitual offender, as has already been mentioned by the Israeli ambassador in his uh, tweet, uh, that you had been doing the same thing in Israel. Because he, this man had always been supporting the Palestinian cause. He had been trying to glorify terrorists because Israel and India have suffered a lot because of Islamist terrorism. So Israel, people of Israel can very well understand the pain of what India had been going through because of these terrorism being sponsored from across the border. And especially the pain of the Kashmiri Hindus because they are the worst ever victim of genocide the same way. We have seen that Jews have also suffered at the hands of the Nazis right from 1933 to 1941. And here's a man who is simply trying to whitewash everything and saying that this is a propaganda. How come the reality be propaganda? So you can't uh, just call something uh, the realistic thing be a fiction. It's not a part of fiction that somebody is a figment of imagination. Somebody came and he made a movie. This is something what has really happened. And Nirmal Singh rightly said, we had seen the bodies lying there for hours. 35 of them were massacred in Vandama. What really happened in Nadimar? I was able to interview one of the victims just um, a few days back. He said that in Nadi Mark, each of uh, member of his family was killed. He was the lone survivor. And how he survived while living within the bodies. Those bodies were lying there on the ground. So I think for that, you need a human heart to understand the pain. I think somewhere this man was a motivated person. Now the question arises, how such a person who had already been committing such blunders in the past in Israel, trying to support the Palestinian terrorists who had been targeting their country, he was made the part of the jury and was asked to head the jury and then given a stage also. So we are providing a stage to people who had been supporting terror and this matter need to be proper investigated. You can't just uh, do this thing. So I think this is really, very important that uh, the organizers will have to answer. And I think there is a very the strong... The organizers there have just issued a statement saying that they are maintaining distance. However, when it comes to the comments that have been made by the Israeli filmmaker who was also the jury head at uh, the IFI, uh, the film festival that was being celebrated and marked in Goa, let's first listen into the controversial comments that came in by the Israeli filmmaker during the closing ceremony. All of us uh, disturbed and shocked by the 15th film, by the movie Kashmir Files, that felt to us like a propaganda vulgar movie inappropriate for an artistic competitive section of such a prestigious film festival. I feel totally comfortable to share uh, openly these feelings here with you on stage, since uh, the spirit that we felt in the festival can surely accept also a critical discussion, which is essential for art and for life. And not just that.